Good morning and welcome for a physics lesson. We are going to study the charging of a body by the conduct method. And uh, I would like you to subscribe to this channel, Shifting Grades, as we continue looking at the contact method of charging a body. So, the other lesson, we saw how a body can be charged by the induction method. And uh, in the induction method, we saw that we bring a charged rod close to the body but not touching it. Very important to know that the flow of electrons can only take place when bodies are in contact. So, when two bodies are brought close but not touching one another, the positive electrons or the positive, the positive charges in this body will simply get attracted to this end because of the attraction force due to the unlike charges, but cannot neutralize because they are not in contact. So now we are going to look at the contact method whereby we bring a charged rod. This is the procedure. Bring a charged rod close to or in contact. Does it have to be close to? In contact. In conduct to a spherical ball, a spherical body, which is suspended freely by a string. Then once you do that, you can test the charge after withdrawing, after withdrawing the rod. So what happens in the conduct method is that once we bring a positively charged rod close to the spherical ball, not close to, but in this case we are saying touching, make sure that they are in conduct, make sure they are in conduct, you find that the electrons are attracted to this, to this end. And once they are attracted, because the two objects are in conduct, neutralization takes place. And now we have on the other side, positive charges repelled. And you find at the end of the day, if the rod was positive, the negative charges are attracted and neutralized attracted and neutralized when they are neutralized the positive charges redistribute redistribute in the sphere and it gains positive charge it gains positive charge so you find <clears throat> because you've brought a positively charged rod and attracted negative charges or electrons for this matter, they get neutralized due to the conduct. And now the positive charges which have, which have been repelled to the other end, once the rod is withdrawn, they are now not being repelled and they are free to redistribute themselves in the sphere and it becomes positively charged. On the other side, if we use if we use a negatively charged rod and we bring it in contact with the spherical ball, you find it is the positive charges which will get attracted to that end where the rod is, but the negatives are being repelled on the other end. Therefore, the positives which get attracted to this end again neutralize. The positive charges are attracted and neutralized. They are attracted and neutralized. Once they are neutralized now, we find because there are electrons, the electrons redistribute themselves, redistribute in the sphere and it becomes 
negatively charged. So the sphere gains a general negative charge because the positive charges have been attracted by the negative rod and because of the conduct, they get neutralized. Once they are neutralized, the rod withdrawn, now the negative electrons will redistribute themselves and at the end of the day, the sphere will be negatively charged. Important, important to notice that in conduct method, in conduct method, the body gains charges which are similar to those of the charging rod. To those of the charging rod. So if the charge brought is negative, if the rod brought in conduct is negative, it attracts positives, neutralizing them, and because negatives have been repelled, the body becomes negatively charged at the end of the day. So what we will have here is a negatively charged body, having charges similar to the law to the to the to the rod, which was causing the charge. On the other side, if it was positively charged, we are saying electrons are attracted and getting neutralized, such that the positive charges on the other end redistribute themselves and the body becomes positively charged. Positively charged, just like the rod, which is charging the body. So that is how we charge by the method of conduct. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share the link.